Good, you? <laughs> <laughs> no, honestly, I'm feeling pretty good, so uh, look out. <laughs> I, uh, I recently made love to a veggie burger. And trust me, you cannot tell the difference. <laughs> So I'll be seeing her twice a week now. Old <laughs> strategy. I have a therapist because I have no car, uh, which means I have no place to cry. <laughs> but I carry around a steering wheel and I punch it whenever I want. Okay. <laughs> Is this it? Hell yeah. <laughs> I think we give first responders too much credit. Huh. I think it should be about saving lives, not whoever got there first. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you think hangry should mean so hungry you're gonna hang yourself? <laughs> Do you think short kings are easy to overthrow? <laughs> I want to open up a pastry shop in a hospital and call it Donut Resuscitate. Oh, <laughs> my It's a good idea. <laughs> Have I started? Are we going? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're, yeah, you're doing it. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll introduce myself. I am Matt Nielsen, 150 pounds, 31 years old, and I'm big trouble. Okay. My, uh, one of my new roommates, they told me that I have ranch energy. <laughs> I think it's because it looks like if Sam, I look like if Sam Elliott went through a Fabio phase. <laughs> I can't believe it's not butter has partnered with Dodge Ram. <laughs> it's going smooth. But when he said ranch energy, I got confused. Because I thought he meant that I look like someone who can never be satisfied. Someone who dips everything in ranch, right? There's some people out there, okay? Any ranch heads in the house? Anyone? No, no, no. no ranch. We don't eat ranch here at I.O. No ranch. You know, but it's, there's a lot of people out there who love ranch. And it's becoming a problem. Because I don't know if you know this, but ranch is a non-renewable resource. Okay, we're going to run out. Why do you think the valley is hidden? <laughs> All the dads in the place are like, I'm writing that one. <laughs> or use at the dinner table. <laughs> A lot of people also tell me that I, I look like Jesus. <laughs> and I'm okay with that because it reaffirms that he was white. <laughs> I think the debate is hilarious because shouldn't the main debate be if Jesus is Jesus? Right? That's what I thought. Because honestly, I think he was just a guy who convinced everyone to follow him and look like an idiot. Which sounds pretty white to me. <laughs> Any questions? <laughs> I drew this airplane. It's pretty good. I might enter it in the fair. This is pretty good. That's nice. Look at that. Beautiful. I even wrote air. <laughs> See that? Yes, nice. Pretty good. People have a problem these days being proud of their artwork, you know, being proud of creativity. It's strange. Which leads me to my next question. What do we think about people who frame puzzles? Okay. <laughs> You're pro framing puzzles, huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah. Now clap it up if you're anti framing puzzles. <laughs> yes, yes, right? I, either or, right? I think it's only okay to frame a puzzle if you intend to give it as a gift to someone you don't like. Because <laughs> the only thing worse than having a framed puzzle is having a framed puzzle you didn't do. <laughs> Okay. I'm not saying it's right or wrong, but I am saying that framing a puzzle is not art. Okay? 
Because not once have I been at an art museum and been like, nice. Too bad it's not a puzzle. <laughs> <laughs> I've actually learned there's even a phase in between framing the puzzle and putting it on the wall. I've learned this from my dad. He's been retired for three years and he's framed 12 puzzles. <laughs> he's, he's like, I don't know where to put it. So he framed it and I'm like, well, dad, how about you just throw it right back in the box and maybe you'd be proud of something else. <laughs> and your son. <laughs> he draws a pretty good airplane. <laughs> my acting must be really good. I got a lot there. <laughs> No, uh, we, we've known each other for a bit now, so say it with me, folks. I peaked in high school! <laughs> you can tell some people knew right away, you know? But whenever I tell people I peaked in high school, they're always like, aw, just like you guys. You know, they're like, aw. But it's like, no, 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 you don't get it. I'm crushing it, okay? <laughs> I was on the morning announcement. <laughs> yeah, you big deal. Okay. <laughs> but no, it was great peaking in high school because I was cool then, which means now I'm basically socially retired, which is nice because I'm getting worse at it. <laughs> worse at being social. I was actually talking with my doctor and, and we're working on a diagnosis of uh, getting bipolar. And I actually tested one point short of being bipolar, of getting the diagnosis. <laughs> Which is weird because it's basically saying sometimes I'm bipolar and sometimes I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Which sounds more bipolar than bipolar. <laughs> excellent, excellent. No, I did good in school. I did good in school. And my favorite class was recess, of course. Recess. I love recess. Right? But it upsets me because they take away recess after the fifth grade. They take it away. First, they hook you on phonics, okay? <laughs> and then they hook you on recess just to take it away? And if you're addicted to recess, the only place you can get more recess after school is prison. Oh. <laughs> Red Rover, Red Rover, don't let Matthew come over. <laughs> after more recess. Did you know another place we can get recess? I was going to say the playground, but that's probably the same as prison. Yeah, you can't go. Actually, I, I, I wrote an Uber here, and uh, I put it here, and uh, on the cross it says, Kids Science Lab. And the driver was like, so you go to the Kids Science Lab? <laughs> At 8 o'clock with that mustache? No, no, no. no. This, is, this is comedy. This is comedy. It's okay. I, I am an actor, and actually I've been on strike for over 10 years. <laughs> I found out one thing, too. I found out every actor wants to be a rock star. And every rock star wants to be an actor, but no one wants to be Jared Leto. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I'm doing pretty good. I actually recently quit my job. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't worry, I still have two more. <laughs> but no, I, I worked at the library, and um, I got a little upset because they had a sign out front that said, no outside books. I was like, no wonder this planet's about to explode. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got fed up, and I was like, okay, you know, I, I gotta quit, but these people are too nice, so I tried quiet quitting, and they promoted me. <laughs> <laughs> you guys have been awesome. I'll, I'll tell you more about myself, and then we'll, I'll get out of here. Oh, yeah, tell you. <laughs> I, uh, I had a bit of a tough time growing up, uh, because I, I grew up in a family. <laughs> when I was eight years old, my parents sat me down and they said, man, it's a big, beautiful world out there, okay? You can be anything you want to, anything at all. So I said I wanted to be the reason for the divorce. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah. My parents' relationship is the kind of relationship that, for the majority of my life, they've been in the same room twice. Oh. My sister's graduation and my sister's wedding. Which is why, in my life, I've tried very hard not to have any accomplishments. <laughs> <laughs> you know, my family's cool, my family's cool. My grandma, she's still kicking. Every year on my birthday, she sends me a card with $15 in it. <laughs> Which, $15 is great, but it's also the nicest way to tell someone they're not worth 20. <laughs> <laughs> my grandma's cool, too. He actually recently gave me this jacket. It's right. Yeah. 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 
I'd say it's a members only jacket. Uh, yeah. He's no longer a member. <laughs> so now it's a remembers only jacket. <laughs> no, 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 it's okay. It's okay because I know I'll grow up and I'll have some kids. And at that point, I'll dismember myself and give them the jacket. <laughs> but no, it's a, kids are a long ways away, but I still got hope, okay? Because I found out an interesting fact. I found out today that one person on this planet, one person every 14 minutes falls in love on eHarmony. <laughs> one person, not two. 